I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudla. I'm Jesper De Jong. I'm Henry Laksa. I am Francisco Segundolo. And you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everyone, to Victoria Azarenka versus Jessica Pagula in the women's semifinal here in Guadalajara. It is the Masters 1000 event. It is the third seed versus the former world number one. With the former world number one, Vika Azarenka, serving first. CJ in the chat, hello, hello. First serve goes out. Milan in the chat. Hello. It's been a while. It has been. How are you doing? I'm good. Backhand of Azarenko to the forehand of Pagula. He is long. I'll make my prediction right off the bat. Yeah, let's first look at the head-to-head. <laughs> Get ahead of myself here. Um, head-to-head in detail. Um... Yeah. So they played um, uh, four times. Uh, they played three times. One of them was a walkover. So it's 2 1 Azarenka without walkovers. Um, Azarenka's won the last time. Two, two times they faced. They faced four times in. Um, oh, wait, sorry, one. Uh, the walkover in Madrid. Azarenka won in Indian Wells, the quarterfinal. Berlin and the quarterfinal in three sets, and then in Australian Open in straight sets. But bear in mind, this is not quite the Pagula we know nowadays. Not the soon to be world number three Pagula. Uh, this is a uh, Pagula that wasn't seeded at, um, at the Berlin event, wasn't seeded at the Australian Open. Only was seated at the, uh, the Indian Wells where um, they they faced. So um, yeah, although Azarenka might have the nod, it's not really too much to look into. I think um, this is Pagula's time to shine. She um, she's had quite a few deep runs at the Masters 1000s, especially in hard courts, and um, I do think that. He's going to take her opportunity. And uh, it's a big opportunity. Playing someone unseated in the semifinals. Playing someone like Zachary or Buzkova in the final, perhaps. Um, Jess Pagula, every right to say she could win the tournament. The way she went through Sloan Stevens yesterday. I mean, brutal, brutal fashion. And I can't argue with that. That kind of uh, performance. I'm, I'm going Pagula in three sets. Pagula in three sets. That's my prediction. What is your prediction, guys? Prediction time. That's Pagula. You get here. Came through Ribikina, Wimbledon champion this year. In three sets, as a very um, clutch match from her at the end. Um, Bianca Andrescu in straight sets, then Sloane Stevens in straight sets. They're not easy opponents. Azarenka does get the first hold underway. One love. Let me try and get the buttons. Azarenka and Pagula. Here we go. Nicely done. There we go. Got Manoris in the chat. Hello. Good morning. I think we have an upset in one of the semis. Maybe both. So the upset would be Azarenka winning and Buzkova winning. Or one of the two, I guess. Semi-final record here. And in 2022. This is not great view, uh, reading for Jess Pagula, though. 1-1. One, one, lost three. You've got to consider... The semi-finals 
Um, most of them, she's facing someone like Eager, like in San Diego last um, last week, or um, semi-final in Toronto, Halep, a bit worse there. Um, the other semi-final, semi-final in Madrid, she won against Teichman. Um, wonderful one rally here. One. Pagula down the line, backhand of Vika, can't recover, and it's 15 love. Good point, good opening point. Semi final, yeah, she's played the one. Um, so two out of the three semi finals she lost are against Iga. The one she lost, um, it wasn't against Iga. I mean, yeah, not well, that we have to consider Halep. Really was playing amazing at that moment. Gotta say. And it was a huge shock when she went out first round to... Um, who was it? The random person. Um, that is her first ever slam match. Um, people had Halep as their winner. A lot of people had Halep as their winner in the US Open. So um, not really that terrible of a loss. And Pagula finds herself here. She's got to take this opportunity. She's got to. I think, from Azarenka's perspective, um, obviously more experience at the top of the game. Oh, good backhand there. And she is striking the ball from the off right here. 15-30 uh, in this game. Got Milan saying root for Azarenka. I think she can take it in three. Yeah, I don't doubt that either. So, so solid. So, com their ground strokes are just compact. They're not going to alter. One of Azarenka, now it's four under Pagula. One of Azarenka is deep. And uh, Pagula can't handle the depth there. There's that forehand long. Anchor with some trash talk. <laughs> Liverpool lost, Madrid won, United last minute draw. It was a good day. Well, my United aren't in the Champions League, so I have that. <laughs> <laughs> As Azarenka does break serve. And it is to love in the first set. Quick start from the Belarusian, but I'm sure we'll have quite a few more breaks before this match is done. Victoria Has a record She knows how to play Has a record She's gonna make it her day Second serve here for Azarenka. Second serve. Please, guys, if you're just joining me, hit that like button, guys. Love to get to 100 likes by the end of the stream. It's a late night stream for me, so I have to be a bit quieter. Um, love that you guys are joining me here in the chat. Got to catch up with some messages, but... Uh, ooh! Just missed that backhand. I think that was a shout of, come on. From Azarenka, has Pagula missed the backhand? I mean, that's interesting. Got Dreamed in as well. Hello, hello. Welcome, Dreamed. That's one. Dasha. Dasha. Um, not going to say her name. I don't want to get any people coming after me for um, any racial comments. As Pagula hits that forehand, lovely down the line. The feeling that Zachary played a final yesterday as well, and we all know our semi stats. We have a really high chance for Buzka versus Azarenka final. Now that would be that would be strange. That would be really strange. I'm not sure what happened to Callan Skaya, but it might have had something to do with playing some three setters to get through uh, her opponents and tough matches. I don't know. 
He retired at 5-2, I believe. But Dasha or Daria in again from uh, yesterday. Vika can win. For sure she can win. I think um, um, right now she'll be feeling like she can beat anyone making us um, getting to the semifinals of this kind of stage. Someone of that kind of um, winning caliber in history. She'll be feeling confident. And it's Uzik 7. David, what's up, man? Hello, hello. You'll be happy for the all Italian final, Ferrotini in it. And um, I'm not going to be covering that final tomorrow, but it'll be very interesting to see if um, how, how it goes. How Musetti can handle the Berrettini serve. That's a good hold from Azarenka. Very um, simple hold. And she's not finding it hard to win games early in this match. It's a consolidation for the Belarusian. It was like whoever wins this will be the favorite for the, the win. Yeah. I think so too. Um, Buzkova versus Zachary. Whoever wins there, Zachary may. If it's Zachary Azarenka, I still think Azarenka is the favorite based on. I don't know if the betting odds will say this. But at Zachary's final record and everything, I think. Yeah. I think mean, Vika is the favorite if she makes the final. Okay. You guys are old grown back. It was different for a while. Yeah. She's hooting like an owl. <laughs> we love to hear. Both good players. Vika in good form is a beast. And Buskova is a brick wall. Yeah. All the Czech players just complete uh, machines. They have a complete talent factory. For the last 50 years, whatever. Just... There's always an amazing Czech player. Every decade, you always find another amazing Czech player. Without fail, how it works in these um, <laughs> in this tennis world, you know? Who has been strong this week, but she has to press Azaranga to win. If she counterpunches, Victoria wins. I think Pagula has a very um, counterpunching game. I need to play, play something a, a bit different. She kind of found it a little bit against Iga that in that, um, well, not just in the US Open, but in the San Diego semi final, she won a set. She's making, she's making more progress against Iga and against like bigger players, you know? Um, and I do think she can figure it out. She can. He was the finals in Indian Wells last year, this time of year. Yeah, October. October at Indian Wells was it was strange, wasn't it? It was interesting and fun at the same time. I loved um seeing people have their different runs like Fritz, Dimitrov, of course Cam Nori. Cam Nori uh, had did a demolish the demolition job on um Schwarzman, if I remember correctly. That was fun. I haven't watched too much of the women's Indian Walls that year, but um, yeah. CG. You must be glad Kathy's not in the chat right now. Is it Kathy? <laughs> Who were you annoying before? Agula trying to get herself out of trouble. She's in a love 30 hole in her service game. Who has the best has the best chance to win this um all, at least had. Well, that's the thing, is who who wants to, with, with some of the top seeds gone, who wants to take this tournament by the horns and win it? And you got to say, someone like Azarenka would be the person to do that. She's the a, aggressive player, one that's not afraid of winning a tournament, you know? Can't believe Azarenka is still relevant. You crap for years after she. Okay. 
enough of that, please, Lee. I mean, made the Indian Wells final last year. Um, he's doing pretty well. Gotta say, he's, um, she she made it jump well at every slam. Fourth round of the U.S. Open. Um, third round French Open. Oh well. Um, showing up in fourth round. I mean, this is consistency still. The slams, and she is 33. So, a lot of players would have retired by now. She's still going strong in Masters semifinals. And we have Hughes here as a ranker. Wants the double break. She does. To me, October suits Vika. Halloween lover, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you can see her um, dressing up as an owl or something. <laughs> Ooh! East and the T from Pagula. Just at the right time. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. Well done, well done, Lee. You've redeemed yourself. <laughs> it's a good joke. <laughs> uh, I think it probably works better in person because you can like do the accent. <laughs> uh, back to Deuce. Wow, 22nd title. Oh, clips the net and Vika. Oh, doesn't do enough of that backhand that popped up off the net. Could have really um, went through it cross court, but went for something more tentative. Um, see her again. Yeah, she just kind of hit it. Um, not really at Pagula, just kind of to her and Pagula put away the volley so uh <laughs> love to see some reconciliation in the chat as Pagula holds serve and I'm going to play with the button for that because she saved I think uh, break point if not um, she didn't it, it's a tough deuce game tough deuce game she gets her first game on the board I'll give her her flowers. Fifteen love as a ranker. That's the thing. I don't. I don't know how good her transition game is. She just good at the net. That's a, it's. It's a different. It's a whole different thing being good at the net, being good at the baseline, and then got to combine the two. It's hard. So I didn't say hello um, before. Um, where was the message? Ems, I think I said hello before. Hello, hello. Welcome. Come on, Jess. Was your prediction for this match, Ems? Do you think Agula? You think maybe um, a cheeky Agula in three, maybe? As rank is at least getting one set, I think. The way she's been playing this week. Thunderous forehand there. And that's the transition game. The approach shot from Azarenka is so, so wide. So much width in her ground strokes. Just spreads spreads the play. Azarenka makes her opponents go side to side. Who's coming the other semi-final? 
Um, I don't think anyone else is. It's just kind of me covering matches at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm assuming Ben and GG will um, try and cover a final tomorrow, but I'm not sure about that either. Nice backhand there from Bagulo. And good return. It all came from the return. Getting Azarenka off balance. Getting the short ball. Put that backhand into the open court. I'd like to ask people, how do we all, I'll, I'll answer this in a second. Let's see the point first. And good return again for Bagula. Yes, the deuce. I like to think, ask people, how do we all feel about Radicanu? Is she a one and done? A one hit wonder, if you will? Can she be herself and win more titles? Will she ever win another slam? It's tough to say. Um. <laughs> I I I because I focused on Lee's Lee's tequila joke. I was <laughs> I was laughing too much. <laughs> yes, it's a great it's a great bond. Um, it's it's tough to say because what she needs is stability, and stability in several avenues. Um, well, every player needs this. Mo most players do. But, um, Radicanu. A lot more than a lot of people needs a coach, a stable coach that can um, go with her, and she that can um, I can work work with her, but coach her in a way that it's not. Ooh, what a backhand down the line! You have to be telling her what to do because she can't get complacent during. Cause she, she wants to be consistently one of the best players in the world. She cannot, um, she cannot let up during training, during anything. Has to have a strict coach, but one that doesn't kind of um, push her too much to the point of like she freezes. If you know, if you know what I mean. Um, so. Um, she needs that. Also, she needs to build up physically over the off season. I think everyone says this. She needs to just make sure everything she's doing. I don't think it helps being with LTA and everything. We all know about how archaic their training methods could be, leading to injury. Evans, Murray, I've all complained about it. The return again for Pagula. Loving the ad side returns right now. Getting about to do so again. Um, So many tournaments and matches, excuses or genuine injuries. But well, I, I do think that um, she's, she is a real competitor, Radicanu. She's just not made physically for the tour yet. And whatever needs to be done, I think she just needs, needs some... Needs a really good fitness coach as well. She needs to build up her body over the off-season. Obviously, she's still... She's still kind of growing. She's 19, I think. Um, but yeah, it's it's tough. But um, I I wouldn't give up on her just yet. I think she still, um, yeah, she needs time. As as a rank of double faults, really not having an easy time getting out of this game. That's the pressure Bagula's return can put on you. Bagula has been on fire on return all week. She'll love to get a break back now, but Azarenka, oh, oh, did so well. He avoided the chance of Bagula passing her, getting her off balance on that backhand with that pro shot. Yeah, very true. Very true. Um, and lots to learn and, um, I think, yeah, a women's players before, I think people are so exp um, kind of like the Tracy Austins and the Jennifer Capriatis of the world, etc., etc. People come in so young, Coco Golf. People expect the women's, women players to just 
or because it's less physical of a sport that um, people younger should be able to compete just as well really quickly. Or if they if they win a tournament, they, oh, that's consistency then. It's consistency then. She's going to do it. She's going to... And then they have these lofty expectations that they just... No one should have to follow. And as the rank hits the pack hands, it's called long, but she's going to challenge it. It was in, yeah. So uh, the bad, <laughs> the bad line judges do continue. <laughs> this sucks for everyone, to be honest. Agula, Azarenka, the umpire. Like the line judges need to not be blind. <laughs> I think older players can definitely succeed more in um, WTA. I, I, I think um, a couple years of um, solid experience will help. But it doesn't it doesn't help? What doesn't help is um, the inevitable constant pressure that was always going to be on her. It was even on her after Wimbledon. Um, like oh. The, the next British star that's gonna it's gonna fly the flag etc etc oh and look she's such a cute girl and she's marketable and um, all these combination of things it's really not a bit helpful has it and uh, Jess Pagula does miss the backhand into the net. Doesn't quite catch it. I don't really know, to be honest, Landon. I I can't really speak on it. Do you think it's interesting? Um, uh, there's the hold for Azarenka. I do think it's interesting um, to take her uh, recently ex-husband um has taken on it about the like someone said yesterday about the um the fact she never uh, drank water from a water bottle that was um that was opened already she she'd make sure she it was a fresh water bottle she'd check with all her doctors before she took a vitamin C and stuff I mean that's a very strong take and this is from someone that doesn't have he didn't need to defend Simona because, like, they just divorced. Like, surely that's the that is the moment you'd think, oh, that's a, that's a spiteful moment where he'd be silent or something like that. But uh, he chose to speak out. Shows he he feels very strongly against the um, accusations that um, or the assumption that Halep did it on purpose, took the banned substance. Or in consumed it, you know. I mean, needs to improve physically, and sometimes I get the feeling that there's more better endorsements than she does about tennis. I mean, it's easy to think that way when um, that's all you kind of see. Um, like from the outside looking in, it's all you see is oh, she's done a sponsor like. Is it really her fault that she that she has sponsors? Why why wouldn't you want um, to support yourself and your family, etc.? Like, and we we see your train um, quite a lot on Instagram and etc. It's not like she's uh, not training. That's what I'd say. It's not the umpire's fault. Um, it's the line umpires. Like the umpires having to overrule. It was the same yesterday. The umpires having to overrule um, the line umpires' bad calls.
about Coco Golf, yeah, I do feel she's a bright future. Hope she, she has a few things uh, to improve, definitely. But obviously, she does. She's 18. <laughs> um, but but uh, she consistency in the forehand and on the second serve. She gets those two kind of even a little bit better. She could win slams the next couple of years, you know, over the off season, big off season for um, Coco as well. Yeah, like what Tennis067 is saying. I didn't read this. Coco sorts of the forehand. Imagine what she could do. Top 10 now already if the forehand is sorted. Possibly, yeah. Getting to the point here. And that goes long from Azarenka. And Pagula could be getting a nice, consistent little game here. That would be good. That would be good. Um, possibly looking at someone who could compete with Ega and get slams herself. Yeah, I do think that um, she's very, very talented. Whether she'll um, be on the same level as Ega in terms of slams, I think she might be a level or two below, maybe. Um, I do think she can definitely get um, slammed under a belt when she gets everything clicking in order, which I know that she will at some point. Is that we see how um, so co how confident she is even even now in front of um, in front of it all really. First serve out. And uh, Pagula from 40 Love now from two ground stroke errors finds herself at 40 30. Be honest, Leila Fernandez, yeah, she, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it was always going to be this, this, um, like generally, as Pagula hits a lovely serve down the tee, take herself to 4 2. Um, it's always gonna be hard for them to have a, as good a year to match that kind of thing, that level, consistently. Especially, they're just so they're both so young and um, not um, tour tour ragged. You know, they're not they've been playing on the tour for several years or anything. But I I think it was expect it was expected, and people needed to calm down when they thought. That Radicanu was going to be winning more slams um, straight away. People need to just set their expectations realistically, you know. Daz in the chat, hello, hello, big up, David. How are you doing today? Big up yourself, Daz. I'm doing okay, you know. Um, obviously, a little bit of ups and downs in terms of sports. Um, bad miss from Pagula. She's frustrated herself. Gives the point to Azarenka, if you know. Um, we had um, at Felix uh, winning in straight sense against Gasquet. Then we had Liverpool losing to Nottingham Forest, and we had um, um, I do like Neil Robertson in the snooker. Had him losing to Mark Allen. Wanted Neil Robertson winning that, and he lost. But Mark Allen. He's just too good. What can you say? So, um, a few ups and downs, but uh, glad to be uh, watching some more sport. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe she needs some, someone more, some more middle people that can just, so she doesn't have to do that or deal with that directly as Pagula hits the forehand long. Needs some more consistency in these rallies. She's trying to hit with depth. Just get it in. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. I try my best. <laughs> I don't want to be spouting nonsense. At least when I'm given some takes, you know.
and serve cannot be um, swallowed or controlled by Pagula. And uh, <laughs> well, he, uh, <laughs> and it is uh, long, and it is game point for Azarenka, trying to get to 5-2, trying to get to a very dominant place in the set. She misses the first serve. Um, I support Liverpool. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> Double fault from Azarenka. Just like her previous game. Cannot really get past the finish line of a game um, easily. You will be hoping that she can take advantage this time. You like Snooker, David? Who's your favorite? So it's way more recently they go into Snooker. Um, I played quite a bit of snooker when I was in Canada because my um, oh, big shank from <laughs> Azarenka, and it brings up break point for the American. So, uh, my um, I'll, I'll, I'll bring up in a little second as Pagul has a break point. This is the first served as Azarenka. Big moment in the match. Big moment. Backhand. Backhand of Azarenka is wild and wide. Pagula back on serve. And Azarenka was sniffing the double break. Now Pagula finds herself a game away from being even now in the first set. And, uh, Solid digging in from Jessica there, from JPEG. Serving at 3-4 after 36 minutes. Yeah, the, the button is a bit unhinged, isn't it? <laughs> the lyrics are just... Whoa. <laughs> um, so, as I was saying um, before, the Gula did break there. Um, in Canada, my um, grandparents, um, their, their um, old folks' home kind of place there had um, a snooker table upstairs. So, um, I started playing a bit of snooker with... Um, brother and my dad and uh watched a bit of snooker as well and um yeah i've been watching Nor northern irish open this week enjoying it um and uh yeah it's pretty fun to watch actually and uh i found myself um well, obviously i'm cheering for like the scottish people but, um neil robertson i i i uh, do like neil robertson He's uh, fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, they, they'll need to they'll they'll settle in at some point or find their place in the tour without the camera so much on them. You know, that's what matters, right? I can slice just goes a bit array from Pagula there. And um, neither her footwork, she just was a bit stuck. Yeah, he's got some fluffy, fluffy blonde hair, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> Another error from Pagula. It wasn't an aggressive return from Azarenka, she just gets it in. Pagula, swerving herself there, not happy. So, so uh, Daz asking, do you think we can still win the league, David, if we get any of them play injured players back? Ooh, East and the T from Pagula is so good there. I think expectations for the league, for the league are pretty um, not at that level. It shouldn't be at the moment anyway. Uh, top four is what we have to go for, right? 
first serve miss there at 30 all. So top four, I think a good season at this point, salvageable season. Top four and um and um I take top four in a Champions League. Need, if we just dig in the Champions League and focus on that solely, or maybe, yeah, top four in the Champions League, I'll take that. I'd take that as a season at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the, that's one of the late night uh, recorded ones. This is that return. As a rank and we are even at four all. <laughs> uh laughing at you dream there of your comments. It is four all it's the business end of the set, and we thought it could have been a bit of a runaway for Azarenka. Not the case. Four all in the first set, Azarenka serving. Ooh. So Azarenka um, is going to challenge it. I have to go for a split second, guys. So um, so I'll be about 10, 15 seconds, okay? So I just had to get some medication to take around this kind of time. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah. For all 15 love. And that return is long from Pagula. It is 30 love. As a... <laughs> Girl from Belarus, <laughs> she's a girl. She's a girl from Belarus. <laughs> Let second serve. <laughs> I can't combine it with the Rusev Ori song. <laughs> Let me hear. Say my name, Belarus. As a ranker. <laughs> oh, the lob from Pagula. Can she win this point? Oh, no. He smiles. They have a wry smile there. She did well to stay in the point. But she couldn't keep it going if the backhand. That's Azarenka's fault for allowing her to stay in the point. Is that um, drive volley was just a bit short. He smiles as well uh, as a ranker. He plays slash watch black ball slash pool as well. I watched a bit of pool. Um, I've played way more pool than snooker over my lifetime. Um, not very good either. <laughs> I do like a bit of Mark Selby as well. I was enjoying the match. Was it Selby uh, Robertson? I was. That was good. That was good. I think snooker is better to better to play pool. I, no, the snooker is better to watch. Sorry, pool is better to play recreationally with people that don't play much pool. You know what I mean? Do you know if Djokovic is allowed to play the Australian Open? Is it confirmed or not? Um, I do. I I know that the rules have changed that allow um, non-vaccinated people to be in the country from abroad, but um, it's all about whether that um, three-year ban is going to be overturned. That's the big deal. If the three-year ban is overturned, 
that's that'll let him in, you know. Azarenka just a game away from the first set. It had been uh, still in the first set a lot earlier, but she'll take it. She will take it. But yeah, the show open was happy to let him play before as well. I mean, he's the, like the best, if not one of the best players in the world. Um, they'd love him to play. This, they have to just um, obviously they are in a country, so they have to deal with the country's laws, whatever it be. You know, forehand, backhand of Pagula, backhand of Azarenka, backhand Pagula, down the center of the court right now. Forehand Pagula, now we're getting a bit more wide. Forehand Pagula is long. She's just, when she goes for shots, hitting them long. Uh, Ronnie Fan used to be Hendry in the 90s. Yeah, Stephen Hendry. Um, what a player, what a player. Seven-time world champion, I think. I think my, um, my dad uh, tells me he used to, or not used to, he played with him a few times, Stephen Hendry, because they, um, from the same kind of area. Nice serve. But Azarenka's return. She just never misses, it feels like. Always gets it in the court, but that forehand, they're going down the middle quite a lot. Azarenka, first one to let up, puts into the net. Puts into the net. Daz, what do you think about um, Ronnie's comments after he lost to um, the guy, the bald guy, I don't remember his name. Um, he said something about, like, doesn't really care for snooker that much anymore. Something similar. Um, interesting. He said he said he's happy to lose, to write <laughs> some pages in his book. Which it is what it is. Ronnie O'Sullivan gets away with saying whatever he wants because he's one of the best of all time. Into the net from Pagula. And uh, one game point gone. Pagula knows. Uh, she needs to take the game when she can. Doesn't want to. Does not want to be stuck in a battle with Azarenka at this point, especially. Oh, good forehand into the open court, changing direction there perfectly. Jess Pagula finds herself at five all under pressure. She gets even in the first set. Who's your favorite player, um, the men's side and the women's side? Um, um, so Andy Murray on the men's side. Um, and on the women's side, I mean, I guess I'd have to go for, um, I don't know. Tough. I... 
I'm leaning. I don't know. I do really like Patrick Kvitova. Um, I cheer for Sean's sake whenever she plays as well. Oh, good shots of Bagula. But she misses the all important one. And it is 40 love. Yeah, Jorgen and John Higgins, great player as well. It's true. <laughs> As the rank gets some whistles after she misses the first serve and tries to kick the ball. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> You're right. That's a that's a um, tough road to take. Oh, drop shot from Azarenka to seal the game to love. That's perfect. Perfect from the Belarusian. You'll be loving life after that one. Confident as ever. Not phased by the hold of serve by Pagula. Drop shot for Azarenka. She deserves the button for that. Again, gets a game away from the first set and making her first steps into the final Guadalajara. Sorry. She knows how to play As a record She's gonna make it her day Coming up on that beat mm -hmm. It's true, it's true Yeah I mean, Karatsev, it was, it was always going to be a, a bit of a, a volatile um, kind of, yeah. It's a shame, but uh, I had a lot of points to defend, didn't he? A lot of points to defend this year. Even with the drop-off he had second half of last year compared to the first half. Um, so many points to defend and... Uh, Gonna have to regroup, doesn't? Uh, he's used to playing qualifiers and challengers and stuff. That's what he did for so many years. Didn't even didn't even um, get past first round of challengers a lot uh, before, um, in like twenty eighteen and stuff. I've seen the cult tennis video. I know his history. <laughs> uh, friend of the channel, of course, Aslan Karasev. <laughs> Forehand is long. Oh, Pavly Chenkova, yeah. It's really sad. I don't know what happened to Pavly Chenkova. She's been gone for ages. Was it something? Was it, it must have been a serious injury, right? Oh, big forehand from Pagula down the line. Krachitova. <laughs> Krachitova. Uh, on the next one, um, Murray and Emma and Nori and Evans will be in, David. So Murray is playing next week, I think, in Vienna. As Pagula hits that long, is it? I think Vienna is playing next next year. If I'm not mistaken. Um, we have a look. Vienna. Mur. Nope, not Vienna. Maybe Basel. Some deep forehands from Azarenka, and she gets a reward for it. As that. Uh, Pagula forehand does go long again. He plays Corda in Basel. Um, 
And um, Nori is in Vienna. Pretty sure. Yeah, seventh seed in Vienna. And much needed point there. Pagula finds herself a game point to get into the tie break. Forehand of Azarenka, forehand of Pagula, forehand of Azarenka, backhand Pagula into the space. Oh, so good. That is so, so good. Yes, Pagula. He sees the space, he attacks it deep in the corner, and it is tie break time in the first set, guys. Loving this. <laughs> Um, Emma is scheduled to play in the Billie Jean King Cup finals in Glasgow, which I might be going to. So, uh, stay tuned on Twitter. Um, I'll tag like games of love in them and stuff. So I get some pictures. Or serve out from Azarenka. But that's have your predictions for the tiebreak, guys. Um, I don't know where Evans will play. <laughs> To be honest in that one. Double fault for Azarenka to start the tie break. Not a great start. Not a great start. Azarenka 7 5. My prediction. When Pagula wins the first set, she very rarely loses. Azarenka's only lost once as well. She's won when she's won the first set of this year. Wild miss from Pagula, and just like that, the mini break swings back. 7 4 Azarenka from Milan. 7 5 Pagula says tennis 6 7. Yeah. I'll, um, Aaron, your big uh, comment before and stuff, I'll read it after the, the tie break, but I do find it interesting. Seven four Azarenka, one of Pagula, one of Azarenka, backhand Pagula, backhand of Azarenka, one of Pagula. Oh, it's deep. Now four and Pagula, one Azarenka. She's playing to stay in the point, but she can't. That was good from Pagula. Left to right, left to right. Azarenka behind the baseline, trying to get the balls back, but she just couldn't after a little bit. And um. The Gula goes ahead 2 1 on serve. What well, says on Wikipedia? He's an inactive tennis player right now, right? You search him up, Raonic. Yeah, he's an inactive tennis player. Whatever that means, he's not played in ages. <laughs> Is he just saving his body for like one last tournament in Canada or something? I don't know. <laughs> Back and Pagula, back and Azarenka into the net. The mini break goes back to Pagula. Back to Pagula. 70 68 Vika. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> 7 5 Vika says Daria. Hope Pagula says Aaron. 7 5 Vika, 7 4 Pagula. You start playing sus since the US Open. Sus. <laughs> Sussy, sussy, sussy. But then, then again, you can't really um, can't she can't win every tournament. And um, I think it was needed that she lost. She lost the final. She just kind of reset in San Diego a little bit. Won the tournament eventually. Oh, good return from Azarenka. Oh my gosh. And it is even. <laughs> At uh, the sit down. Almost an hour on the clock for the match. Um, I don't know Portuguese. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, 
That's funny. That's good. We need to have the um the accent above the E. <laughs> Basil flaw there, Lee. <laughs> Bravo, Jesse. <laughs> Coming from the crowd there. Yeah, literally, even ours. He was already rolling in that time. <laughs> Talking about the hand waving. And some of our other tags like restring multiple rackets at a time, plus complaining about conditions when opponents are more than happy to play. Um, about the rackets, she normally just that's 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 fine. I think. <laughs> and another error from Azarenka. The mini brick just keeps on coming back to Pagula. Whether it'll come back to Azarenka at any point will yet to be seen. I think she's she apologizes about the hand waving. I don't think it's gonna happen again. I, I I think she's she's genuine about that kind of thing. She's a good, honest player, you know. Now that's a double fall from Azarenka. And just like that, we have three set points for Pagula. Three set points. Big moment. She wants to make Masters final. Needs to get set up here. Has a chance to. She made the, the Madrid final against Anjabur. And wild return from Azarenka. Brings the first set. The American has fought so hard all year. Now only a set away from her second Masters final. Shout out M's for the correct prediction on the on the match. Well done. Well done. 7-3. Restringing rackets is normal. I I th I think um I think complaining about conditions is um isn't that bad. Especially when, like, I don't know. It's hard because I'm not a professional tennis player. I don't really know what, what the perspective is on that. Uh, but let's go back to what Aaron was saying before. He said, Coco Golf in a couple of seasons will be a, a constant threat in the majors. But now the way Shantek is in her prime, I don't even know if this is her prime, by the way. Could be even get better than this. She has the potential to do a calendar Grand Slam next three, four years. Calendar Grand Slam is a big shout. I think three slams in a year is possible. I don't know about Wimbledon. <laughs> and uh, people will say she might improve on grass because she won that junior Wimbledon, etc. She needs to... <laughs> the girl doesn't know which way, which side um, she's serving at or anything. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's um, Coco and Shionte both have to improve their serve in uh, multiple ways. Coco, more consistency on that second serve, especially. Shionte needs it to be a big weapon because that'll help her um, in if she wants any grass kind of uh, success. 
And taking the ball um, low as well will definitely help. She's not really um, too great at that right now. Um, a turn goes wide from Azarenka. 15 love. Backhand, Pagula, for one of Azarenka. One Pagula, one of Azarenka. Backhand, Pagula. Backhand of Azarenka. This is good tennis for Pagula now. Really doing well behind that baseline. Really doing well. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> uh, Lexi in the chat. Hello, hello. Welcome. I mean, it's harsh. She apologized publicly. No, I mean, she doesn't need to. I just think people are. What What do you want in that point? I've done it a couple times previously, maybe. But, uh, Wow, what's a forehand to finish off the game from Pagula? And she's uh, reaching a, a higher level than she was all throughout the first set. That's for sure. Um, yeah. Pagula all the way, says Ricky. Has Ranky Fairchild almost over. Fairchild run. I mean, it's still a long way to go. Still a long way to go. That's a good hold from Pagula there to start the second set. Encouraging signs. Encouraging signs. Now that's not... That's what I thought initially, but I realize uh, when you replay it, um, she was balanced at the time. And it is, it is not, not good. I I do think she'll change and for the better. But it was it was break point, so maybe it must have been desperation tactic. Must have been. That's love fifteen forehand miss from Azarenka. Come on, Vika. She's gonna have to come from a set down here. I think she has it in her, but. Uh, Pagula, the way she's playing right now, very, very impressive. And it has more consistent serving numbers than uh, Azarenka, marginally. Full hand of Pagula. One of Azarenka is too good. Too good. Went over that one. Very, very impressive. Wow, last 10 points. Azarenka just broke uh, the nine in a row pattern. Oh, there's another one. Backhand off winner. Very good. Very, very impressive there in the corner. Maybe the... the the racket that was strong wasn't strong properly. They were the brand new racket. Wasn't strong to how she'd want them strong. So if she gets it like, it's like if you get a brand new football that's pumped up and you're like, well, this isn't, this isn't pumped up all to the full, like, and you get it, um, you pump it up yourself, but you let the air out and then pump it up yourself properly kind of thing. I mean, it's, it's really tough. This is the first serve there, Azarenka.
Backhand of Pagula to the backhand of Azarenka. One Pagula. One Azarenka. One Pagula. Backhand Azarenka. Oh, just in. One Pagula. One of Azarenka now to the backhand Pagula. Cross court to the backhand of Azarenka. Backhand Pagula. One of Azarenka into the open court. Wow. Wow. Azarenka. I mean, some of those winners there, very, very impressive. Very, very impressive. Vika. Vika. That's the, the chant coming from the crowd. They're getting behind the Belarusian. Warhands. Backhand drop shot, Pagula. Azarenka's going to get there. Touch. Touch there, surely. Surely that's touch. I think Az I think Azarenka touched the racket there, no? No, I guess she didn't. Must have been a different sound I heard then. Pagula missing the pass there, trying to drop shot. And then, yeah, backhand not going in. That's in, though. The ace down the tee. Having a lot more success on her serve than she used to. It's become more of a weapon. Yeah, I, un I understand how you feel. Tennis is 6-7. Um, it's... Yeah... Player, yeah, some, sometimes you just kind of different little things that doesn't make you feel right and stuff with uh, what players do, gamesmanship-wise. It's a shame, but part, part of tennis, people people do try and get rid of it, the players themselves, but um, it is part of tennis. Lovely forehand there from Azarenka in the corner. She smiles after that one. Azarenka ripping it. Every ball could return. I guess the short ball was she whips that forehand away. Wow. Fault is called by the umpire. Google is not going to overrule. And not, and not, she's going to challenge. I mean, sorry. The umpire overrules calling it a fault. And Pagula's going to challenge it. I think it's, it'd probably be out because the line umpires have no idea what they're doing. And the umpire has to... Oh my gosh, it was so far out. The line umpires... What? what why are they even there? Oh my gosh. Then the second serve, Azarenka swings at it, puts it into the net. I mean... The line umpires keep on making mistakes consistently. They'll not call a serve out. It's about three inches out. Like, come on. And good hold there from Bagula in the end. Comes in off the forehand. It comes in off the serve, sorry. Puts away the forehand into the open space. And what's to be said about these line umpires? Blinds, um, negligent, I don't know. It really spoils um, the match sometimes when you just... Obvious calls are just missed so often. And they got, they're relying on the umpire... Like overruling these things, you know. Because wincing. Oh, we didn't see that. Oh, you got, got a guy in a. I think it's a, a poncho. <laughs> Celebrating and dancing. <laughs> He's got the, the number one rubber hand. 
uh, things, you know, you know the glove things. <laughs> uh, the kid caught on camera dancing. Other kids jumping, dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Woman waving and dancing. Her husband is uh, on his phone, looking miserable. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, dodgy stuff. Dodgy. Yes, they don't really have the, the movement in the hips, like um, like um, here in Guadalajara. Just don't quite have the the dancing rhythm, you know. <laughs> Ooh, doesn't catch that forehand right. The gula attacking the net. Rushing the net as Arenka makes the error. And she's noted herself there. <laughs> she's um Colombian, right? I think. Yeah. <laughs> Good guess from Bagula running left and right, running down every ball, and Azarenka making errors. And if what 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 you're saying is true, uh, Ems about the wincing, um, Menor Singh as well. Azarenka looks in pain, maybe elbow, wrist injury, and where she won't finish this. Hmm. Gosh, Menoris. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> That's brutal. That is brutal. I don't, I don't hit you at all. I like benches. Some break points here. Backhand Pagula clips the net. Wand of Azarenka. Oh, stand and deliver. 1540. That's good. That is good. And uh, doesn't look the best movement wise right now. Gotta say that. And goes with the forehand down the line. And looking slow in her movement. Looking labored. It is the break for Jess Pagula. Leads three games to one. Azarenka looks a bit resigned right now. Holding her forearm. Her right forearm. Which is her, she's right-handed. So not looking good. But it is the break. It looks like her right arm, she's shaking it again. She looks like it's injured or something. Or in pain. But she goes for that return. One thing again after it. Elbow. I mean, she was holding her like um, above, above the veins. You know, just like Pressing it, and then she shook her arm. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Clips the net. Shirley Pagula finishes it off cross court. Yes, well done. Um, someone said before, the finals is all is fire. All the top ten girls except Bedosa and Contivate. Uh, yeah. Let me have a look at the finals. 
for survey. Um, Double fault from Pagula. Interesting. Maybe a bit of nerves here. Knowing their opponent is not the best shape. Also trying to get into a Masters final. Second time this year. With a legitimate chance of winning it. Never easy. Never easy. A lot of good players in that WTA Finals. Pretty much anyone can win it, you'd say. Yes, it was so it was so sad when um yeah, the rest. It's just such a weird season for Bedo for Belinda Benchich. One moment on top of the world. One moment. Losing to randomers, and that's an amazing forehand down the line from Bagula. Ho, ho, ho. What a forehand. Now at game point. Go clips the net. Bagula finishes it off, though. Pops up just enough. And um, Bagula just two games away now from the final here. Consolidates the break. So um, I'm not quite sure. Azarenka looks to be having troubles with her. Yes, yeah, she is. In another clip they're showing, she is holding her elbow and squeezing it a bit. Um, don't know what the issue is. And her coach is yeah, asking where the pain is and kind of going up and down the arm. Yeah. Hope um hope Azarenka will be okay. Obviously it's a shame that uh she's got a bit of pain there. Uh looking like she'll continue. Azarenka loves that purple Nike top. And the headband, of course, and the braids. Legendary Azarenka look. Ooh. And goes attacking the second serve. Pagula, she's going to want to take this on the backhand. Nope. Has a forehand, but puts it deep anyway. Backhand now. It's forehand of Azarenka. And... Um, a cruel game, tennis. But, um, when someone's injured, you got to play it to that injured side. And that's what Pagula did there, playing it immediately to the forehand, which uh, went into the the, uh, the net. You got to, when you see an injury, it's the right thing to do, Pagula. Go into that forehand. Give her shots to play. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Even though he's, in, he's injured, the way Pagula took that on, the forehand cross court, that was, I think, in the service box. Brilliant. Wow. Lovely forehand cross court. Into the net there in the first serve. And uh, just a couple of points away from the double break is Pagula. Backhand, one of Azarenka. He's out. Real shame this. 
Azarenka just not able to use that forehand. Really, really bothering her play right now. First serve into the net again. Gula will be attacking the second serve. Backhand. Good from Azarenka, though. Given a short ball. With the support of that left hand. Puts that backhand away. 15-40. Saves the first of three break points, but who knows how much longer will be in this game. Forehand of Azarenka. Goes in and is good. Backhand of Azarenka. Trying to put up a last stand here. And pulls everything together to put a forehand into the corner. She's shaking her head. It's like she, she knows she shouldn't keep on playing. She's doing it anyway. That's the kind of shake of heads that is. If you know what I mean. First serve is a miss. Second serve here. I think Pagula will be going all out on the second serve return. Right into Azarenka. And then there's the backhand there. Pagula went down the middle. Reduce the results. No smile or celebration for Magula. As um, she knows Azarenka is a bit hindered. But it is the break of serve. And there's a game away now from ending um, Azarenka's misery with the injury. And getting to her second Masters final. And her first on a hard court. Four hands. One of Azarenka is wide. 15 love. Yeah. It's, I'm glad it's um, it's not going to go on for too much longer for Azarenka's sake. We don't want to see her um, as she goes into the offseason go with too much of an injury. And another forehand there. She just can't even, yeah, it's, just, it's upsetting, it is. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks. I'm enjoying it myself. Love when the um, women's tennis is um, good and competitive as it was in that first set, especially with the winners. As Ranky goes after that return wide. That forehand as well, and it is three match points for the American. Three match points. Match points. Fault called on the first serve. And I don't like an injury either. Double fault. <laughs> Double fault on match point. And Vika... Getting a bit of a sympathy shout from the crowd. Match point number two here. Misses the first serve. Match point. And there it is. Very limited celebration for Gula out of respect. He goes through to the final in Guadalajara and a lovely embrace of the net, a hug as uh, Vika get well soon. Hope um, everything's okay with the elbow and wrist. But Pagula waves to the crowd. Deep down, you will be happy you made it into second Masters final of the year. And a Masters final that she will be the favorite in. By seeding, she will be the favorite in, regardless of who wins. Jessica Bagula, she deserved it. She has deserved it for everything she's done this year. How many wins has she got? A lot. I know that much. 41 wins on the year. She deserves this completely. And 
so consistent in Masters, Slams, everything. All the best matches. To win a tournament, you normally have to beat Pagula. That's how much of a um, consistent player she is. Um, Shiontek had to beat her to then go to the finals to beat someone else so many times this year. She is the benchmark for um, for great players. To If you beat her, you'll, um, you're essentially amazing. And um, she's really stepping up. And I hope to see um, her lift the trophy tomorrow. Um, well done, Jess Pagula. Beating Victoria Azarenka, a bit of a sad occasion at the end there with the the injury to the wrist of Azarenka. But um, fully deserves to win regardless of the second set. Did well in the first. Um, David, what's your schedule for tomorrow? Uh, I'm going to be covering the Felix Corda final. Um, not the other two, sadly. They're, both, they're all at the same time, which is a shame. But I'll be covering the Felix Corda final. And then hopefully, who knows if uh, Ben and Gigi are covering it, but if they're not covering it, I'd love to cover the Guadalajara final as well, as long as it is at a decent time. <laughs> you know, um, not like four in the morning or something. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for joining me today. Um see how many likes do we get on the stream. I didn't really ask for likes, but... Um, Glad that uh, you guys are joining me this late in the night. Um, let's see. Yeah, almost 50 likes. I'll take that. Thank you guys very much. Uh, see you tomorrow. Sebi Corda, Felix, in the final of Antwerp. Meanwhile, it has been Pagula 7661. Get well soon, Azarenka. But Pagula is through to the Guadalajara final.